G'day and welcome back to the channel. Let me show you what's going on here. This new crazy mother. Well, as you may or may not be aware, if you're not aware, you're living under a rock. Um, everything's cancelled at the moment, so Golgong isn't on. And sadly, the flat pack pickup idea is pretty much gone to the wayside because of that. So, this is where I'm up to with it anyway. And wait a minute, that's not a side valve V8, what's going on here? So a while back I was like, you know what? I don't need a side valve V8 model A pickup, as cool as it can be. And all my mates are going out drag racing again with their gasses, and I don't have one at the moment. I'm like, oh, I need to build a gasser. I need to build a gasser, and I'm like, oh, do I need to buy another car? I was going to buy something else and gasser it. I'm like, I've got all these model A parts. And I went, you know what? Let's make the pickup into a gasser. And then I went, you know what? Let's make it into an altered, because I've always wanted to do the suicide front. And, um, once you alter the wheelbase of a gasser, it becomes an altered. So she's a vintage altered. That's the plan anyway. And the reality is you can't run in a drag class like vintage gas or altered with a side valve V8. It just doesn't cut the mustard. Well, you probably could. that would be the time everyone gets up and goes to the hot dog stand for refreshments. I decided to turn it into a dedicated drag car. The beauty thing about having a dedicated drag car you don't have to register it. it doesn't have to comply with adrs or road regulations or road rules hence the suicide front end hence a little bit of uh aerodynamics i want this to chuck wheel stands i want it to shoot flames out i want it to be as loud as possible i want it to do big smoky burnouts it's not going to have front brakes it's not going to run a radiator well not there anyway i'm going to shoot some pipes underneath and the pickup bed is going to be where my radiator is going to sit, thermo fan, just keep it clean at the front. I sorted myself out with a neat triangulated four bar rear end and um, a nice strong diff, pumpkin diff, keeping that old school. Some old school coilovers just to keep it clean and tidy. Um, so the motor is a 289 Hypo, um, pretty rare motor and pretty sought after. I've confirmed it's a hypo by the castings and stuff like that. The motor's really good. It's got hatch marks in the um, in the bores, and uh, you run it like this all day. I'll eventually up the compression. Big crazy cam. I'm going to be running zoomy straight out the sides here. She's going to be loud. She's going to be cranky, and I want it to chuck wheel stands. It has to chuck wheel stands because it'd be boring if it doesn't. And wheelie bars, which it's going to get, would look silly on a car that doesn't lift its front wheels. If you don't know about the mongrel, you need to go back and look at some other videos. She's, um, she's turning into three cars, and that was the plan. Three cars out of the one car. We've got the 30 cowl indoors. Um, I'm still waiting for old mate to finish the back half of this cab. It's getting built at the moment. Um, it's taken longer than I expected, but that'll be ready soon. Complete reproduction ute section for it with all the bracketry and stuff that goes with it. This is just sort of dummied up at the moment. It's not on properly. I just want to get proportions. I'm considering shortening it, um, but... I'm not going to cut anything until I get my cab sorted out and just check the length. I don't mind the long, but short's also cool. So we need to make sure, can we do it with my hand or just with the camera? We need to make sure that's going to look right, proportionally correct. It's really long and I like it. What are those front wheels? I really wanted an old set of vintage spindle mounts, but people are asking stupid money. They don't have this brainwave. I remember these, these 1936 Ford drums were all open and, um, I went, you know what, that'd make great spindle style mount wheels um, without the hubcaps, just like that, no back brakes, just nice and open. So vintage spindle mounts, kind of, with removable outer rims. That's my idea of a cheap way to do spindle mounts, and they're going to look good. 
I just score myself a nice set of old indies for the rear. They're 15 by eight and a halves. Um, I just need to hunt myself down some slicks. I'm gonna try and stretch it out to maybe 11 or 12 inch slicks on it, just to fatten it up. Don't wanna go too big because one, I'm not gonna run front brakes and I wanna be able to do a big smoky burnout. Two, they're only eight and a half inch rims. Genuine made in the USA. Very cool. We scored that old school moon tank. I wanted an old school beaten up one. I did want to buy a brand new one. It's just not nostalgic. So Johnny on the spot got it at the right price. I have to make a bracket to mount it up. But that's pretty much how the front's going to look. It's just going to be open. I just, uh, the inspiration for this build is hijinks. It's in the start of my um, every one of my videos. <laughs> So that thing's got the uh, the negative rake gasser stance on the opposite. I want this to sit up high in the back, low in the front. Um, the wheels, the tyres, I'm going to get for these probably 28 to 31 inch in height. We'll bring this up a little bit more um, and just give us that cool rake stance because this is an altered, it's not a gasser, so we can do that. So back to the body, we've got a four inch channel or a hundred mil and then four inch chop. We're going to leave that Actually, we were looking at a six inch channel, but it just doesn't give enough clearance in the roof for my head with a four inch chop. So we just brought it up a couple of inches. I'll have room in there if I bring the seat right down low. And I'm yet to button up the front wishbones. But I want to get the stance right before I muck around with this because I've got to get the caster right. I've set the caster at approximately, on that perch, at approximately about four and a half degrees. So I can give or take. And then this thing here, if I lift it up and down, it changes the caster. So we'll get the caster right, but I need the back to be perfectly where it's going to be. So we'll get my rear tyres on, and then I can start mucking around with this stuff. Next thing I've got to nut out is my steering. Um, I've actually got these on backwards at the moment, just so I could run this at the front, because it's not going to fit at the back. Now, you wouldn't normally do this on the front because of the... Um, hang on, let's get rid of this wind because of the um, steering axis inclination or Ackerman angle, toe out on turns, because it's off. But it's off anyway because the thing's longer than standard. And this is designed to go on a straight line. So I'm not gonna go explaining how that works. You can look it up. But having these at the front um, isn't gonna be a big issue because this is for quarter mile racing. So we're not gonna be doing uh, circle work or track work. Or we might do some circle work. Um, but it's not for the street, it's a drag car. Here's a little update. I wanted to drag it out of the shed anyway and have a look at it, a bit of perspective. You need to see what it really looks like because it's been cooped up in my back shed. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's turning out how I kind of imagined. I just need to sort out that panel right there and uh, get a better perspective on it. But anyhow, that's it from me. Stay tuned, be good to your mates. Give them a call, make sure they're doing all right. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers.